Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. This video contains a lot more information on definitions, specifically about different definitional techniques. If you want to know how to construct definitions, then stay tuned, because this video will discuss seven techniques. Now, it may seem like a lot to remember at first, but I promise you, once we begin, it becomes quite simple. Now, here is a list of seven definitional techniques. The demonstrative definition, well, this is when you point at something to define it. The enumerative definition. This is when you name members of the same class as the word being defined, the diviniendum. Now, here's an example. Next, the subclass definition is when you name members of the subclass of the word being defined. Now, here's an example. Next, the synonymous definition. This is when you provide another word that has the same attributes as the word being defined. Here's an example. Next is the etymological definition. This is when you tell the ancestry of the word being defined. Here's an example. Next, the operational definition. This is when you tell of a procedure which helps define the word. And last, the genus and difference definition. Now this is when you provide the genus of the same word being defined and then provide words that make it different, more specific. Now here's an example. All right, now as usual, let's do a few practice problems. I'll ask a question, you press pause. Try to answer the question, then press play again to see if you get it correct. Now practice problem number one. What type of definition is this? Press pause, because I'll give you the answer in three, two, one. Bing! This is a demonstrative definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause if you need to. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is an enumerative definition. All right, next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause if you need to. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by subclass. All right, next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is an enumerative definition. All right, next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a demonstrative definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause if you need to. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by subclass. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is an etymological definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a synonymous definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by genus and difference. All right, next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an operational definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a synonymous definition. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by genus and difference. Next practice problem. What type of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an operational definition. All right. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is an etymological definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is an enumerative definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by operation. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. One. Bing! This is a definition by subclass. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? 
Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a demonstrative definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an etymological definition. All right. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. Bing! This is a synonymous definition. And next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by genus and difference. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer is in three, two, one. This is a definition by subclass. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an operational definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a synonymous definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a demonstrative definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an enumerative definition. It names specific individuals. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a genus and difference definition. And next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an etymological definition. All right. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an etymological definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a demonstrative definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an enumerative definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition from genus and difference. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a synonymous definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is an operational definition. Next practice problem. What kind of definition is this? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Bing! This is a definition by subclass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, very good job on those practice problems. The seven definitional techniques are easy for you now. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day, because that's all, folks. We'll see you next time.